Yo, 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 yo. Great rise, friends, family, and strangers. I just had a thought, so I decided I'm going to create a video off of this thought and explain to you guys this theory that I have, okay? So dairy farmers, okay, much like pig farmers and goose farmers and all of these other animal farmers, if the whole world were to go vegan, they are probably one of the only individual entities that will be really, really hurt by this movement unless they move forward in a different direction. So I was thinking about how we may end up putting all of the slaughterhouses out of business. You know, they may have to contract for that. They may have to find smaller businesses to, to come and do that on their property or something like that. But what I realized is that the more and more plant-based we go, the more vegan milks I'm seeing in the grocery store, um, people are realizing that there's not a need to consume um, breast milk from another species. <laughs> uh, so one of the pros when talking about um, a plant-based diet or a plant-based lifestyle or a vegan diet or a vegan lifestyle is when you eliminate a lot of these type of foods from your diet, from your palate, from your body, a lot of your allergic reactions go away, a lot of your digestive issues go away, skin problems, not to mention the other environmental impacts that happen when you are um, consuming animal products, right? So, but on the other end, right, if we go back to, if we go back to what it is exactly that the farmers would have to face. I recognize this now being in cattle country that individual small operation farms would be hurt by this. And, and not that they should, you know, a lot of people who get into the farming industry or the cattle raising industry, they're not necessarily doing it to make huge profits. I mean, think about it, a lot of it is subsidized by the government. Right? So, if we take this concept of getting rid of larger operations, basically like um, big agriculture company-run organizations, we completely got rid of that and other farmers are suffering. What could they possibly do? Or what could they do preemptively knowing that changes like this are, are coming? What could they do to sustain themselves? What could they do to make a profit and to change the way we look at agriculture and our food and to be a part of this re um, revolution? Really. So I thought about this a lot and I've seen a few farmers on YouTube do it before. I don't have any references for you. Um, my ideal, my ideal would be that these smaller farming operations, instead of raising cattle, instead of raising like hay and uh, I found that it was too fat as well, to grow cows to a significant size that is not healthy for them nor is it healthy for us to be consuming. What if they turned their farms into sanctuaries and then started producing fruit? <laughs> and, uh, which I'm not sure is a, is a bad thing, uh, but you also have food produced for human consumption. Um, not to mention if the, if the need for um, if the need for cattle ranching decreases, other than in a sanctuary type form. Then what you have is a, a significantly less need to grow crops that feed cattle because you don't need to make cows as fat um, if we're not eating them. Isn't that a crazy concept, right? So now although cows want to um, graze and uh, all types of other animals want to graze and they want to 
live out their lives and things like that, we also would need to breed them. So um, maybe, uh, <laughs> sorry, Gracie is, uh, this is my cat. Gracie's over here uh, trying to snuggle with me. But now you may not, you may be unfamiliar with this, right? Now there are some uh, breeding operations that have nothing to do with um, artificial insemination, but for the most part, from what I know, a large percentage of the animals that are produced for food are actually um, artificially inseminated, meaning they are impregnated against their will, meaning that the bull or the male animal is like, you know, oski ski, and then they collect the seed and then, um, you know, impregnate the the female with that. So you also get rid of that necessity. Uh, you also get rid of that necessity if you put these type of operations on the back burner. If we as individuals choose with our dollar, choose with our food choices, choose with our gardening to not move forward eating um, dead animals and their secretions, right? So, I thought about this a lot. Um, I know it's it's a it's a huge idea, it's a huge concept, but there are definitely farmers who have done it already, who have converted to sanctuaries, and I think it just puts a little bit more livelihood into our hearts. Like if you consider, oh dang, I can use this same. 10,000 acres or whatever it is, <laughs> or I can use the same 100 acres that I've been using to grow, you know, alpaca llamas or emus and kill the emus and use them for oil and meat and all that stuff. I can use that, let the emus or the goats or whatever live on the property still, plant a whole bunch of fruit trees, let the animals prosper off of the fruit and sell the rest of the fruit to the human population. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna keep this video short. I'm so blessed to be here. Um, and it's a beautiful day. I actually got out super early, chilling in my grandma's old rocking chair and got a whole bunch of morning sun in my eye. So, if you got, well, I want to know what you guys think, honestly. Like, have you ever heard of this concept before? Were you aware that um, most of the animals that we use for agriculture are artificially inseminated, aka, you know, a lot of vegans will go as far as saying rape, and I have used that term before. Like, if you are not <laughs> willingly ready to get pregnant and somebody impregnates you, you're like, whose fist is up my ass right now? And then boom, you're pregnant. You're like, where did this come from? That That's rape to me. <laughs> okay, that's rape. Even if it's to a cow, a chicken, X, Y, and Z. So um, yeah, what do you think about these concepts? Have you ever heard of artificial insemination before? Did you know that animals were artificially inseminated. What do you think about turning big animal agriculture into animal sanctuaries, you know? I mean, we even have companies like KFC now running um, tests on plant-based meat, like plant-based fried chicken. And we have plant-based burgers at Burger King, Carl's Jr., you know, McDonald's. If McDonald's were to go completely plant-based or completely vegan, just know they have more real estate than the Catholic Church. They are everywhere. Can you imagine if we turned McDonald's into a healthy, organic, uh, you know, fast food restaurant? Everyone in the world basically would have access to healthy plant-based meals. Um, anyways, what did you guys think? I would love to see, uh, I would love to respond to you guys in the comments. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you. And this is the tallest munchkin and I'm out.